Well, hi there. It's great to see you again. We're back in our Minecraft hardcore server. Well, let's say ours. It's not really ours. It's Jelly's. Jelly server that he invited me to, to then try and kill me. Thank you, Jelly. But obviously he failed because, well, he sucks. And that's why we're still here today at our beautiful Bork Mountain. Look at this thing. Okay, it's not that cool, but I've made some changes. Before we get into that, though, I need to remind you guys that this series is fueled by your likes. So if you want to see another episode, you have to hit 100,000 likes, which means if you don't hit it, I'll never upload another episode. Also, for any of you unfamiliar with hardcore, you might see those mean looking hearts. Yeah, if I run out of those, it's game over. Your likes won't save me then. Anyway, as you can see, I've done a few upgrades to the castle. Don't mind the floating stuff in the middle, it's a feature. Pretty much, um, I increased the thickness of the walls, which, yeah, it's, it's decreased the uh, floor space. Um, I was going to build a house in here. It's starting to look a little bit tight, though. We'll figure that out. Obviously, from the outside, looking pretty good. And then over here, oh yeah, this is the secret entrance, which also can take you up onto the wall area, which you can walk around and patrol and, and look at our, our cows over there with, with lots of free space to move around. Um... And then over here is kind of our little tower type thing, which actually would probably give you an even better view. Oh, just heard Bork bark. <laughs> bork bark, bark, bork. Uh, we'll go see him in a second. He's uh, still in a hole. But yeah, we can see everything from up here as well. It's a pretty good watchtower. Now, I definitely do need to go and get Bork because I have a bit of an announcement to make. I think you guys are going to be excited for this one. Uh, bork, hello, buddy. I'm really sorry about this. Don't be upset. It was a temporary measure just to make sure you don't get killed. All right, come over here. But come on. I know you're upset. All right, you can see it right there. Who's a good boy? Look at you. All right, let me just not push you off the edge, but push you to the edge. Imagine if I pushed him off. Now, yes, today we are going to find Bork a name tag to officially name him. But that's not the announcement. For any of you with keen eyes, you might have noticed that I'm wearing a Bork Gang t-shirt. That was from the last series, and they sold out super fast. Well, today is the day. I am happy to announce that the new hardcore Bork Gang t-shirt is available now. And look at this thing. It's beautiful. As you can see, we've upgraded the design to represent that we're on hardcore now. Now, like I said, the pre-orders are open right now. So head over to slogo.com to get yours. But a warning to everyone now, the pre-order will be closing on Monday the 23rd. Once again, it's going to be super limited. So if you do grab one, I want to say a big thank you to you for supporting the channel. And Bork, obviously. Look at his little face. Now, anyway, I think that is enough of that. We've got stuff to do. Namely, getting you a name tag. Now, I did get most of my equipment set up before the video. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I just need to find a mine. I'm actually going to push you a bit farther away because now I'm getting kind of scared. We do need to make an anvil as well. So we could do with getting some more iron. But other than that, let's go. Although, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I have seen a mine like right under here when I built this out. Um, but I didn't really explore it very far. But we can have a look down here. Oh, wait, no. I, f I remember now this was a dead end. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot that. Anyway, uh, one small step back, but we continue onwards. A lot of you are also probably wondering, Josh, what was the result of Jelly and Craner's troll? Well, actually, I'm pretty sure they haven't been on since. I was just kind of eager to get Bork set up. So I've jumped on just after recording the last episode. But hopefully the next time I record after this, we'll be able to check out what happened in the fallout of my trolls. Although I can't really call what I did to Craner a troll. That was, that was just mean. Actually, is this going to burn his house down? Um, maybe I didn't fully think about this. Jelly, on the other hand, I'm definitely interested to see what happens with that. What the, is, what is this? Oh, copper. I mean, we don't need it, but okay. After getting the lightning rods, I feel like every time I see copper, I have to get it. Okay, these, these cave systems are, are not good. Let me guess, this is another single piece of iron. Wow, thank you. Oh, we might, mm, Okay. No, dead end. <laughs> oh, I'm realizing just how long this could take to find a dungeon. I haven't even said, by the way. I mean, I just assume you guys know at this point. But what we're looking for is a Minecraft dungeon that's... Wait a second. A dungeon is where we're going to find the name tag. But, oh, oh, look at this. This is a, um, what are they, the, the amethyst, right? Amethyst? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Wait, is that not how you pick this up? Oh, no. Am I breaking this? How do you get these? Oh, you guys are going to be really sad right now if I'm... If I could pick these up somehow. It's definitely, why would it be a shovel? Should we just grab some, I guess? I, I, it's making a pretty noise. Well, I do hear a bunch of mobs, though. Which, you know, could be a sign of something. So let me just grab a few more of these and then we'll investigate. 
Let me know in the comment section what I should do with this stuff. I don't really know what it's useful for. I know you can make a spyglass. That's about it. All right, let's keep moving. Looks like this direction is working out for us. I might need to get more torches at some point, so let me just grab some coal. Actually, I'm going to take this bucket of water over here. Could be useful. I honestly, I'm surprised by how little mobs I've found so far. Considering this is on hardcore, you'd expect a lot more than this. I do feel like I'm making progress, though. Oh, we got our first mob. Hello. It's been a while. So I think because it's hard, they're more likely to... Ow, that hurt. They're more likely to have, like, weapons and stuff. I mean, I've got full iron, and that just absolutely wrecked me. And I think I'm going to have to make a shield. Yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> Oh, I hear more. I hear more. Okay, let's retreat and make ourselves a shield. If we get on the other side of this this water area, it should protect us. All right, shield time. Never like remember to make these. I'm guessing two iron isn't enough. So let me grab a little bit more. Hello, skeleton. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Out. Oh, okay, never mind. See, that did like nothing. That's that zombie with the sword was OP. Oh, yeah, we only need one iron. I, why do I forget? I'm so bad with shields. All right, you know what? I can't be bothered to wait for this. Ow. Thank you, skeleton. Thank you. You want some of this? Ah. You want some of this? That's what I thought. Ow, what the? Okay, there we go. Another one down. Now we keep moving deeper. Deeper to find our dungeon. Oh, what is this? Found ourselves an underground mine shaft. Oh. Ooh. Anything good? Nope, whoop, not really. Okay, M melon seeds? I, I mean, I guess, sure. I am sort of wondering if you can find... Oh, wait, oh. oh, I see one. Okay. I'm wondering if you can find name tags in these things. Because I'm not exactly sure. Do I need... I mean, I may as well take this. It would be a... quite. Oh, another one. No, nothing. That would save me a bunch of time. Do we need gold? Why don't, why don't we get it? May as well. And... Oh, we got one! Oh! Okay, does anyone know what glowberries are for? Like, can you grow them? I, I actually never even known. All right, well, we got our name tag. Now we just have to get out. I actually have no idea where we are. We, we've uh, we've been doing this for a while, I'll just say that. Oh, dirt. Could this be a sign of something? Or just another block of dirt underground? I think, <gasps> what the? I think we're out. Yay! We made it, and we got a couple of golden apples as well, like, I think we're pretty set. Wait, oh, we're like right here. <laughs> I just start walking over to it automatically without even realizing that we were this close. Okay, would be good to add some sort of secret entrance from somewhere else outside of the castle to get in. Is that how Jelly got in? Oh yeah. Well yeah, now I'm gonna have to sort of just, oh, this would be a good little bit here. We have to like climb up, I guess. Although where is the, the secret underground thing? If I could dig into that, that would be, are you serious? <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> well, this doesn't really work as a, an access point, I suppose. I could just put it to the side. Put it right there. Okay, I've just got so much stuff in my inventory now. I definitely don't need rotten flesh. And then I'm going to pick that up and again. Okay, there we go. Go goodbye, flesh. Just going to kind of change this to cobblestone as well, just so it kind of makes sense. Just like that. All right, cool. Hello, Bork, we're home! Did you miss me, Bork? Bork? Yeah, were you ignoring me? Okay. Anyway, let's get all of the extra stuff dumped in here that we don't need right now. We will need that. Don't worry, we'll put this stuff back in my inventory before we log off, otherwise I will get robbed. All right, so, um, now to remember how to make an anvil. If only this was the way to make it, that would make life so much easier, but I'm pretty sure these have to be iron blocks. They're, they're not cheap. I'll tell you that. All right, like this, and then you go up here, and then like that. There we go. All right. Now the only problem with these is if you place them and then break them, they break. Like more. What if we made this an an anvil corner? Okay. Um. Oh, there we go. I keep hearing something making noises. Oh, an Enderman. I forgot to put torches in here. Thank you for reminding me. Do you want to fight? Take that, loser. Take that. Ow. Hey, got an ender pearl. Nice. Anyway, let's close that back up. We could put like a stack of furnaces there. That would be cool, actually. I know that we're still going to be making an actual house, but it looks cool. Stop asking questions. One, two, three, four. All right. Now to get the name tag named. I've been looking forward to this moment. Walk. 
Imagine if I spelt it wrong. Uh, you could change it, don't worry. All right, it's time for the honorary moment. The naming of Bork. In the name of the Bork gang. Bork. There you go. Congratulations, Bork. You're now Bork. Yes. Now, the other thing on the agenda, though, is we need to make sure that Bork is safe. So, how should we do this when we don't really have anything? My first idea is we could create a fake wall over here. And that would be quite believable, actually. Huh. That could work. So what I'm thinking is we, we finish the, the wall along there, which from the outside... We're going to need more cobblestone than this. From the outside looks pretty normal, but it's actually like a secret entrance. I think that could be good. And then it's a little, a little bit more comfortable for Bork. Okay, that can finish like that. Now, obviously, if you're walking along the, the ramparts up here, you'd notice that this area is, is slightly bigger. But, you know, the average person would probably just dismiss it. We do need some slabs again. We can get that. And then the door could probably be... I mean, actually, the door is going to be hidden. But this is what we can use at the moment. So, yeah, let's turn this into a cute little bork house. Going to block this area off here. And we can block this area off here oh and of course we need to change the flooring this is it's a very uncomfortable stone flooring right now for bork we'll replace that with a nice wooden flooring just like this and we need some more of those slabs there we go looking pretty good yeah oh um we need an area for him to to drink of course we'll put that right there there's the little drinking hole I would make a bed, but I don't have any wool, so we can work on that in the future. Also, eventually we'll make this into a, some sort of cool redstone door, I suppose, but right now this is all we can do. And we may as well put a sign in there. I mean, I don't know why I, I said it's a secret bork house, because if you're already in here, you already know the secret. Uh, okay. Anyway, bork, it is time for you to go inside of your new house. Come on, buddy. In you get. Oh, hey, there you go. Come on in. Don't turn it. Uh, no, come back. Hey, 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 hey. It's going to be nice. I know it's it's kind of a hole in the wall right now. But when we do it up a bit, make it look a bit fancier, you'll love it. Okay? Trust me. All right. Let me let's just edge you in a little bit more. Reverse. Get those reverse beepers on. And in place. All right. Then we just need to seal it up. Don't worry. There's plenty of oxygen. And yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty believable. The only thing I would do is maybe add another line of cobblestone here. Just to make the edges seem a bit, you know, more sensical. And yeah, there we are. When you're walking on the top, it, it just feels like a, you know, like a normal extended area. Nothing to see here. So yeah, that's where I'm going to end this episode. Just a reminder to everyone to head over to slogan.com if you want to pick up the new Hardcore Bork Gang t-shirt. It's available right now, until Monday. Remember to click the like button if you want to see some more videos on this Hardcore series. But if you want to watch something right now, there's videos on the screen that you can click and it'll take you straight there. Bye-bye!